Welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs for General Disturbance. This is a Rhine Metal Scorpion G. It's a Tier 8 German turreted premium tank destroyer. It's located on the North Spawn of Himmelsdorf. We have a slightly bigger mini map for us. And it's under the command of RNG is Toxis. Now, he has appeared on our channel before, but under different names. He just keeps changing them every now and then. You might have known him as Pip Jeepko in the past. Yes, he sent us in some replays from quite some time ago. Well, he's in the Scorpion G, which is a tier eight tank destroyer with a 128 millimeter gun. And he stopped in his tracks. I think he's realized that there's quite a lot of people going in that direction. Um, two marks of excellence on the barrel. This tank destroyer is capable of doing three, 490 alpha, not 390, yep. Um, 246mm of armor with standard ammo and that goes up to 311 with the premium rounds and he can also do 630 hit points of damage with an HE round. Okay we've got an AMX CD A105 he hasn't really got a good shot there so he's had to back up a little. Oh beautiful shot right on target. Now unfortunately the scorpion gun tends to troll people yeah, it's got a habit of doing that, I'm afraid. That's not going to stop him shooting, and he gets another hit on the Kalavan Action 10. He moves forward to avoid any return fire. I don't think that Kalavan would be too happy, even though it was a low roll. He will still be aggrieving that he's lost so much in the way of hit points so quickly. And he's not even in the his uh, final firing position. Yeah, he's decided to move on. Well, the hull of this vehicle is basically a Panther. In fact, not just any Panther, it's basically a Panther prototype type hull. It hasn't really got the same specs as the uh, as the Panther. It's a fairly weak tank in sense. Uh, the armor, well, won't stop a lot of shots at it, but it is still a Panther, so it moves fairly quickly. Turret traverse is a bit slow, so you have to watch out for that. And the reload is very long, it's 10 seconds, slightly longer than 10 seconds in total. He's just checking to see can he get any shots on these guys up on top of the hill? Well, if his teammates don't get in the way, when he actually shoots at the 59 pattern and hits him all the way from down here, even with his teammate blocking the field of view. He's going to try another one. I think he might go for that Scorpion G if he can get a shot on target. That's not much to work with there, but that is better. Oh no, it's a bit slow. The shell is slow. You do have to take that into account. Ah, oh, much better targets, but again we've got this idiot who's parking in front of somebody else as they're firing. And that guy really does need a bit of a talking to. He's a bit of a noob. We can see that, but obviously if you park in, some, in front of somebody else just as they're aiming, you're likely to get a shot in the back of your turret. And he takes out the Carnarvon Action 10. And he's telling the AMX 5120 pull back. And he's going to go forward. Now, he might get a couple of shots into that Indian Panzer. But the Indian Panzer is more than likely going to fire back with his 19mm. Pokes his head around the corner. Hello. Fires one in. Low roll, 450. But he's done a huge chunk of damage to that Indian Panzer. He'll probably get another shot. Here we go. Thank you. This time round he gets a high roll. If he gets the next shot on target, that guy is going to be dead. In fact, he's actually pulled around the corner because he realises it's uh, basically he's not going to be able to withstand another shot. And I think he's about to go anyway. Hello again. Goodbye. Back in the garage. Now that was a reasonably good tank, the Indian Panzer, but he's been taken out of the game. Now the enemy's capping at the other end, and well, he could go into the cap himself here, but he needs to ensure that the guys at the other end get a reset. And if he does go into the cap, these guys are going to come down this way and try and kill him. But he can use the wreck of the Indian Panzer's armor if his teammates don't drive in front of him again. Gets around into the hull of the Emil, Emil 2, which is actually the weak spot in that vehicle. Don't want to wait for the turret, you want to wait for the hull. He's letting the 53 TP cap. Danke. That was the same, the same nuisance who uh, blocked, uh, who got in his way. 
I think he's being sarcastic when he said thank you there. <laughs> that guy was a pain in the ass by blocking his shots earlier. I'm sure he, that um, RNG is Toxis would have actually had more hit points. Oh, he's got a lightly kill around the corner. Hello. Oh, he didn't get the kill. The Senlac got the 5120 before he did. And now the Emil 2 is... Okay, he's going to come around the corner. Now, there is an enemy tank there already. A rain. Hello. Puts a round into him. He's a high roll for 493. But the 53 TP has been reset. And now the enemy's swarming in this area. So he goes for the Emil first. Unfortunately, he bounces the shell. But he's got an SDA-1 with him. We've lost the 53 TP. Okay, so he's going to go around the corner. There's probably going to be an enemy tank there waiting for him. There is. It's a Progetto. Gets one shot in. And the SCA takes the kill. Nice. He did take a round for 245, but it was only a 90mm round. Now he's going to take the lead here on this corner. Because, of course, he'll get the best shot in. I'm sure the SDA won't mind that, you know, he's been blocked on that corner. <laughs> But there's an Emil 2 to kill, and it's probably better. He's asking the SDA to wait. Oh, yes! Lovely shot to the AE phase 1. There's only two enemies left. He's telling the guy to fall back. He's got the Alpha to take these guys down with one shot. Oh, takes a round from the Emil. Goes for the shot. Oh, takes him out with one round. And there's only one enemy left. He's a one shot. If he can get a, a standard roll, he's letting the SDA-1 go ahead of him because he can now one-shot the guy. Even if the SDA-1 fails, he's got him. Yes! Wins the game. RNG is Toxis. Look at that glancing bow that hit the front of the vehicle and actually bounced off. Well, that was a good round. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Ace tanker for RNG is Toxis in the Rhine Metal Scorpion G. Managed to get a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got four exactly. Fight for effect for doing more damage and hit points to his own vehicle. He got a Brothers in Arms. He actually platoon with somebody who had at least three kills. He also got a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game and a tank sniper for doing the most damage at a range of 300 meters as, um, as well. So let's have a look at team score. Top of the table, 5,235 hit points of damage. And the next high score after him, if I put that up there, was in fact the AMX 5120, who got 3,452 on the enemy team. And after that, it was their Emil 2 with 2,847. His platoon mate in the SDA 1 got 1,893 from that game. When it came to kills, though, it was RNG's Toxic again. He got four kills, three kills for the Senlac, the SDA-1, the ISU-152K, the premium tank destroyer, and, of course, that Lorraine 40 ton on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, yes, he's got the top in all three columns. 1,437 went to RNG's Toxic. 857 went to his platoon mate, uh, KG-1966. Uh, at least I think that's KG. Yes, it is. And 794 went to the Senlac. He fired 16 rounds, got 14 direct hits, 13 penetrations, damage of 5,235 hit points, of which 1,346 were at more than 300 meters. He received three hits from the enemy. Two of them were penetrations, one non-penetration. Well, it is a panther, so it does have fairly weak armor, but the non-penetration was the glancing shot that you saw on the front of the vehicle. The penetrations were the shots from the Emil, which went right through, I'm afraid, there. And, of course, the Progetto shot as well. Nothing he could do about that one. 250 hit points of damage blocked by the armor. Eight enemy vehicles were damaged, four were killed, and he got 16 capture points uh, right at the end in the enemy cap. On a premium count, he earned 89,076 credits, got 33,404 from personal reserves, total 167,018 credits altogether. And after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables took away a profit of 125,435 credits altogether. Good score.
1,437 XP times 2 for the first victory, 216 for being in a premium vehicle, and took away 4,528 experience points altogether. Again, he drove this thing like he stole it. <laughs> it's actually, the thing is that he treated this uh, tank destroyer much like someone would drive a medium tank. And he did give good commands to his teammates to say, hold on, wait until the right moment and by doing so he enabled himself to get a nice shot right into the side of that AE phase one as he drove through past the field of view and didn't get any fire in return. In fact all the way through this battle he was treating it as if a middle medium tank you know poke out take a shot pull back straight away there was no return fire from the enemy at least they couldn't do anything because there was nothing to shoot at. So very well played by RNG Toxis. Uh, very similar in many ways to the play we've seen seen from Filipperino in the past in the same tank and he treated it like a medium tank as well and that's how he's got th three marks on the barrel. RNG Toxis has only got two marks at the moment but it won't be long before he's got his third. If you enjoyed that replay please give this video a like, do subscribe to our channel, leave a comment down below, let other people know that we exist and thanks for watching.